This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to look at a script I created that speeds up Maya opening and closing. Maya seems to get slower with each release, and this can save you some time, so let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is actually launch Maya and see how long it takes to load by default. So I'm just going to go to Programs and open Maya 2020, click it. Okay, so this is my custom Maya loading screen. Um, we've got a video on the channel to replace this if other people want to know how to do that, but just waiting for it to load. Okay, so it's still loading. It might look like it loaded, but it's not. And the way that you can tell is you can actually look up here. And when this turns blue, this little hammer square thing, that means Maya has finished loading. You can try to like move around here and stuff, but it'll just like get trapped or whatever. So just about done. Okay, there, and we're finally done. So that's a start time to try to beat. So that was super brutal. So basically what you can do to make my load faster is you can disable plugins that load really slow. That's where most of the loading time comes from. And we've shown how to manually do that in another video, but what I've found is a lot of people need to work with some of the plugins sometimes, but not all the times, including myself. And it's just really hard to remember which plugins to load and unload. And it's kind of annoying using the plugin manager. It's kind of just a mess. So if you've purchased the full mega script pack, you can come up here and you'll see there's two new icons. We have S plugins and close. And so let's load S plugins, which stands for slow plugins. And this is just a little toolbox that has the slowest Maya plugins that I know of, and we can turn them on and off. So we have MASH, Bifrost, Arnold, ABC, Exporter, Importer, XGen, and echo all commands in the script editor. So if we turn these off, Maya is going to load a lot faster. And if you don't use any of these plugins, you should definitely turn them all off. If you use some of them, then you can turn some of them off. I rarely use any of these, so I'm going to turn off MASH. I'm going to turn off Bifrost, which is probably the slowest. ABC, I rarely use XGen. Sure, you can just say OK. And then echo all commands. This is the script editor, echo all commands on and off. So if you're not doing something in the script editor where you need to see the output, definitely turn this off because it slows down loading, but it also just slows down Maya performance in general. Lots of people are using Arnold, including myself, so I'm going to leave that one on. And then this button here will take you to the plugin manager. So if we load that, here you can see the plugins or whatever. And then you can see, like, here's ABC, for example. So if we turn that guy back on, wait for it to load, you can see there it's enabled and disabled. So it's kind of just like a more simplified interface to get access to this so we don't have to open that up and remember which plugins. And of course, if we find some more plugins that are super slow and slowing down Maya, we can add them to this list, right? These are just the ones that I know about. So we've disabled everything that's probably going to slow down Maya launching. I'm just going to close this. And you're also going to notice in the shelf, we have something that's called close. And what that does is for my Maya anyways, my Maya closes super slow, it closes slow on the regular. And sometimes it will take up to three minutes to close. This is probably kind of different on everyone's machine, but whatever. I hate closing Maya. It's so annoying that you click the thing over here, the X, and then you're just sitting there and you're like, what is happening? It's still loading. So we're going to close Maya now and also record the time on that. And when we come back, we'll test the close script as well. So close Maya. Don't save. Wait. Okay, so we're going to launch Maya again, and now we're going to see, hopefully, it's going to be a lot faster. So go to Programs, Launch Maya 2020, click it, and here we go. Boom, a much better result, so much faster to load. So definitely come in here and make sure to disable this stuff if you're not using it. And then you can always use this toolbox to enable it and disable it as you need those plugins. So pretty cool. So next up, we have the close button. So we've got the previous time to compare to. And I'm just going to come up here and you just click the button. And it's going to say, do you want to save the scene? You can cancel, you can click save scene, or you can click don't save. And as soon as you click save or don't save, it's immediately going to close Maya. So we'll go don't save. Boom, it's gone, just like that. Very nice. I've been working on a scene like all day or whatever, and it's all like slow and 
my is running crappy and I'm just like, oh, I just want to close this application and be like done for the night or whatever. So satisfying clicking that button and just having Maya go away. Okay, so we've just opened Maya again here. So one thing to note about this tool as well is it will save all of your preferences. It will save whatever modifications you've done to the custom shelf here. It'll save all your shelves and tools and everything. And it will also save the contents of the script editor. So if you're working with the script editor and you've created a new tab and whatever, you've typed some stuff in here, when you use the fast close button, it will actually like make sure to back all that stuff up so you won't lose anything. One other extra feature that I've added to this is if you right click the button, you'll see the save preferences option there. And that's a special version of save preferences. So something that was really annoying me about Maya's save preferences, when they created that, they forgot to include the custom shelf in the save preferences, and they forgot to include the contents of the script editor. So this is what often happens to me. I make a new tab, whatever, I do some coding there. I'll come down here, let's say, whatever, I'll drag a button from here to my shelf. There we go, I've got a new button here. I've got some new code here, whatever. I'm working away, and then for whatever reason, Maya crashes. So I'm gonna simulate a crash here by just like closing Maya by just deleting the application wherever it went. Where is it? This is so annoying. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna end task on that. Boom, Maya's gone. Okay, Maya crashed. Oh no, okay, let me just like open Maya again. Okay, so I open up Maya again after my crash and oh, my edits to the custom shelf are missing. I've lost that work. And more importantly, in the script editor, I've lost any work that I've done there. I've lost a whole script on occasion and that I was just about finished because Maya crashed randomly from like merging a vert or something. And I had saved preferences. I have gone up here. I've done the whatever save preferences. I've done the save all shelves. I've actually looked into this. Save all shelves doesn't save the custom shelf and save preferences doesn't save any of this information. And so what I created because I was actually crashing Maya so much and losing my work is if you right click this button and you say save preferences, it will actually save the modifications that you do there or that you do in the script editor. So let's just do a quick demo of that now. So if we go back here, we'll make a modification to this thing. We're just going to drag this shelf button in there. Okay, we got the work in progress. And I'm going to come over to the script editor, add a new tab, type some code, let's say. Okay, great. Awesome. That stuff's there. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my close button, right click it, save preferences for real. There we go, preferences saved. And then control shift escape for the task manager. Look for Maya, crash Maya. Okay, there, I had like a simulated crash again. Okay, I've loaded Maya again. You can see I didn't lose my shelf change that I did. It saved that after the crash. And I didn't lose my Mel that I was writing here, my script editor tab. So this save preferences actually saves preferences, whereas the Maya built-in save preferences kind of ignores a couple things. So very helpful. So to clean that up, I can just right click and I can say delete. And then I can come up here and right click and I can say save preferences. Now, no matter what happens, that change is actually saved. If you've already purchased the Mega Script Pack or the Modeling Pack, this will be a free update. So you just need to download the same file again from your original email link to get the new stuff. If you haven't purchased the script yet, you can grab the script by itself in the modeling pack, or you can get it in the mega script pack. So take your pick. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you like this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad free. See you next time. Have a fabulous day.